the Strymon Big Sky at this point is an absolute classic. A reverb pedal of the ages with fantastic high fidelity sounds housed in a stylish design. Since its release in 2013, musicians have been drawing out inspirational sounds from the Big Sky. I've owned it myself for nearly all that length of time. Yet there's one function in the Big Sky that a lot of people still tend to overlook or just not even know that it exists. In fact, I spoke to three friends recently all of whom have bought the Big Sky in the past three months and none of whom were even aware that this feature was in there. This is, of course, the hold function. So in this video, I'm going to explore the hold function further and answer why is it such a well-kept secret. Let's start with the basics. So the hold function gives you two options. Number one, infinite, and number two, freeze. So let's explore both in a bit of detail. To access the hold function, we need to go into the menu. We're going to turn it to hold and then click that button in there and you can see at the moment it's set to infinite so this is on one of my favorite hall settings on our presets my third preset that i've got saved in sort of bank one um, a nice present hall setting and let's hear what that sounds like with infinite on my hall setting so first of all um, i should start by saying i've got the lvx going into the big sky i'll turn the lvx off for now i've got a patch that i've created earlier pop the hall setting on that sounds like this And then to access either the infinite or the freeze options, hold options on the big sky, we're going to have to hold the button down for whichever setting we're in. So we're on this one here, as you can see with the light on. So we're going to hold that down when I play, and then we're going to get infinite hold. So let's just do that just to show you the basics of what it does. So that will keep the reverb going infinitely, as it says on the tin. Uh, every new note that I now play will add to the signal. So let's try that. So there we go. Hey, <laughs> pretty cool, right? All in all, a brilliant tool for creating some ambient soundscapes. It can get a little busy if you layer up too much. And I layered probably about uh, eight notes over the top of each other there. Uh, and it can lean into oscillation territory, which can get pretty gnarly if that's what you want, um, but it can get pretty messy as well and cluttered. distorting and getting a bit too much there there are pedals since uh, the big sky that have come out that do something very similar but they actually replace layers which is really really cool so you can adjust that and you could maybe play two or three layers and as you play more it will re replace the earliest if you like with the newest that you play but the big sky doesn't do that but a lot of people do not know about the infinite that's on here infinite's cool freeze in my opinion is even better so freeze will grab the signal of what you're playing and it will just as it says on the tin sort of freeze it that allows them for new notes to be played on top of the sustained note or chord without adding to the reverb let's give that a play and then we'll just talk a little bit around that so first thing to do as we know is we've got to go back into the menu into hold and we're going to change that to freeze and then hit that again to select it okay so we're in the same 
uh, setting now. So we're on C, which is this exact same hall setting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a note now and I'm going to freeze that note. Then I'm going to play directly over it. So you'll see the potential of this. And that's frozen. That's just going to keep playing for as long as I keep my foot down on the note. So now, whilst I've got that held down, I can play over the top of that sustained signal, uh, but it will be a dry signal, and it won't add on top of the note that I've already got sustained. So, really, really cool, really nice, but this is where I'm going to dive in and use the LVX at this point. So I've got a setting that I made up uh, about a minute before I press record on this video. just lovely, lovingly fades out when you let go. So why is the hold function such a well-kept and underutilized secret of this drum and Big Sky? I think there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's not immediately obvious that the functionality is there. You can't see it on any of the dials or knobs at the front of the pedal. You have to go into the menu system and then scroll all the way through to pretty much the end um, of each of the menu systems for each setting, go into it, select it, come back out, and then manipulate the pedal at the front whilst you're playing on it playing it so it's more something you're going to stumble across than sort of be staring at you directly in the face when you get the pedal i think secondly you also have to do two things you have to get the setting and then you have to for the only functionality of the pedal hold down a, a button whilst you're playing to create the sound so yeah if you're a big sky user or you're thinking of getting a big sky and you haven't tried the hold functionality before either the infinite or the freeze then give it a go it's a great tool i think for creating ambient soundscapes, adding texture to your playing and creating smooth transitions between notes and chords or even between your songs. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. It'd be great if you could give me a like and subscribe to the channel. We're post here at least twice a week, every week. If there's anything else on the Big Sky that you want to find out more about, then just comment below and I'll get back to you straight away. Thanks for watching.